Now, we've added all these lovely pages to our website, but if you just go to your website, there's absolutely no way of finding them. There's no links to them anywhere, so, you know, nobody's going to be able to find them. So we need to actually add these items into our navigation on our website. So in from online store, you'll see the navigation option on the left here. So we have the way you have to think about this is you have different menus for different areas of the page. So in this particular setup, you'll see there's a footer menu and a main menu. So the main menu is this one at the top here, and you can see home catalog, home catalog. That's what's in the menu items. The footer menu, which just has search, which if you scroll all the way down here, is our footer menu down the bottom here. So certain pages obviously need to be in that top main menu and other pages need to be just tucked away down in the bottom out of the way, not making any sort of fuss about themselves, if you like. So let's look at the, the main menu first of all. So I want to add my About Us page in the top menu okay so I just click on the menu here and here are my menu items now first thing to notice is you'll see as you hover over those little six dots this changes to a hand so you can change the order of the menu um, the menu about which if I save you'll see then swaps these around okay so you can change the order like that. Now I want to add my contact page. Okay, so we just that that's the name is what will appear actually in the menu here. And then once I click in this link box, it gives me some options that I can either link to the home page, I can link to a search page, or I can actually link to any of these. I can link to a collection, a specific, I could look for a product, pages, blogs, the blog or the blog, individual blog posts or policies, which were my refund and um, all of those. So this is obviously a page because I created a contact page. Um, and there is my contact us page. I add that to my menu here. And then when I save this and go back and refresh my store, I've now got my contact page linked in the top menu here. All right, I'm gonna do that again for my About Us page. I'm going to go to a page and click About Us, and I'm gonna add that. There we go. Now, um, the So my so that I'm, I'm happy with my with my main menu across the top here. And now I want to go and set up, I need to link to my privacy policy, my returns and all that kind of thing, which I'm going to put in my footer in my footer policy in my footer menu here. All right. So I'm going to add So I'm going to add, dear me, privacy policy. And so I'm going to go to policies and then there it is, my privacy policy. And I'm going to add that in. I'm going to do my shipping. I go to policies and, oh, I didn't save a shipping one. There we go. I'm going to go to refund then. Returns and refunds. That's if you remember, I didn't save a shipping's policy. That's why I didn't come up there. And then finally, terms and conditions, policies, terms of service. There we go. Okay, so I save that menu now. And let's go and have a look and see what it looks like. 
there we go and those are my menu options coming along here so that's all all fine and dandy that's everything we need there now <clears throat> What I do want to talk about now is um, creating a, a better kind of catalogue structure up here. But I'm going to do that in a separate video so that people can, so it's easier to find. So in the next video, I'm going to talk about actually how to create a sort of a subcategory of your collections, a sub um, from this top navigation menu here. So we're going to do that in the next video.